Hello Lego fans, adult fan of Lego UK here and welcome to another Lego Star Wars Winter 2014 set review. So this is for set 75036, the Utapu Troopers. Um, it's another battle pack. So this is the fourth battle pack I've now reviewed from this latest wave. Um, the other three are already up on my YouTube channel. I will put a link down to those three in the description of um, this review so that you can go and have a look at those three as well if you haven't done so already. So this is for ages 6 to 12. It comes with a piece count of 83 um, and it retails here in the UK for £11.99. That's from Lego Store or the Lego Store online. So. First thing I want to do is show you the box, as we can see here. So just bring that in closer so we can see the front there. Just get a bit of light on that. There we go. And there's the box art on the front. Okay, on the rear. Again, scene some of the features again this one has the new blasters you either love them or hate them um, there's the actual main part of the set although that's to be argued because for most people the main part of these sets is purely the minifigures okay top Blasters, so that's the box. Okay, so next up we have our instructions. There's the front cover, rear, inside, and we have the blaster function. It's got flick fire missiles, and we'll see those features in a second. Uh, infantry peace count page, total of 16 pages. So that's our instruction manual. Okay, so let's take a first look at this set. And there we go. Again, minifigures I think are pretty awesome. The actual um, main part of this set is the, it's a tri droid. It's got a rotating head and opposable legs and three flick fire missiles um, I will show you that in a second I just want to show you the minifigures um, first because like I said this is going to be the main reason that most people um, want to purchase this set particularly if you're into building up a clone army so we start with this minifigure okay okay there we go <clears throat> so we have in this set uh, two 212 Battalion Clone Troopers and two Airborne Clone Troopers. So I believe this is the 212 Battalion Clone Trooper. Okay, let me just zoom that out so you can actually get a bit better focusing on this. Okay, so there we can see that print in detail on the legs up through into the torso that orange colouring on the arms and again round onto the rear of the torso like I said comes with the new star blaster as you can see there I'll show you that operating in a second and then the helmet detail you can see there that again orange colouring uh, continuing through onto the helmet. Another thing that you get on these new true clone troopers is this kind of battle damage. Which hopefully you can pick up there on the torso, carried through as well there onto the top of the helmet, and also some on the legs. And I think it's just a great addition. Um, and adds to the detailing on these clone troopers. Okay, next up, we just remove his helmet. 
let's see his face detail in there so all four of these Utapu troopers all have the same um, printing on the face so the same facial expression as well and it's single sided okay okay so next up we have the airborne trooper you can see there I'm just going to remove the blaster from this one get a better look <coughs> Again, you can see that printing on the front of the legs. See these ones come with this, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. This side, oh, what is it called? Skirt detailing, I'm going to call it for now. Um, torso printing. On this one, he has a left white arm and a right orange arm. <coughs> Rear torso printing and really cool helmet on these excellent and again the detail I think is fantastic got this kind of battle damage um, printing going on which I think is awesome and just remove that so you can see the face again same as the other so that is the airborne trooper Okay, and a side-by-side -side comparison of these two clone troopers. Okay, and if we just rotate these around. Okay guys, so that's it for our minifigures. Okay, then we have these new blasters and they come with not all of the 2014 winter sets but there seems to be in a number of them. Um, so this again is in the main blasters in two pieces, the black chassis pistol part you can see there, then you have this grey trigger mechanism that simply slots down in it and then finally the part that's, part that's fired is a um, stud piece, so in this case a translucent blue stud piece and to fire it you just simply push down on the trigger which I'm going to do now so watch out for this flying out and there we go fires out as simple as that and then for reloading again it's just simply a focus a case of taking our stud and it just fits in to the end and pushes that trigger mechanism back up. So that's the new blasters and how they operate. Right, now we have our Tri Droid. Obviously Tri, because it's got your three posable legs on it, so I'll obviously show you those at the moment. Move there, and move there, and move there as well on hinge pieces, so all three of those. Um, the main top part, head piece, I guess you could call it spins like so and it comes with free flick fire missiles so I think we've all seen these before I fire that one there let me just watch that obviously fires that and like I said there's three of those not much more to say about this to be perfectly honest very basic and but like I said main feature on this is absolutely the minifigures Okay guys, <clears throat> um, excuse me, for the blasters, we do get additional um, stud pieces, so what's fired out of the blasters, which you saw um, previously, me demonstrate that function. Um, so as you can see, there are, well, there's seven additional ones. It claims that there's six, but you get actually a spare. So there's actually seven um, additional, that's in addition to the four that I've already got um, in their blasters, which you can see there. Anyway, guys, that's it for my review of this set, the Utapu Troopers set 75036. Hope you um, liked this review. If you do so, please do give it the thumbs up. Um, really does help me if you do that to show that you do appreciate what I'm doing. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, feedback, questions down in the comments section. Um, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers!